good morning everybody uh, the first track uh, for today is on uh, inclusive business and uh, the first showcase uh, for today in, in the inclusive business track uh, is by the Kovarin center for development or uh, ccd as the, as they are uh, referred to um, CCD is an umbrella organization of uh, community-based uh, business ventures and financial organizations whose uh, aim uh, really uh, is to empower the rural poor to sustain economic growth. Uh, CCD is represented today by Mr. Maheshwaran. So without uh, much further elaboration, I give it over to Mr. Maheshwaran. Thank you. Hello. Yeah. Good morning to all. I think I've been given the tough job of keeping people awake on Saturday morning. So. Uh, I represent uh, Muttu Velaidam, who is one of the directors of CCD. Uh, without wasting time, what do we do? Don't get panicked. There's so many things we want to cover here. So we'll discuss what's inclusive business because I'm the first speaker of the day. Let's uh, uh, give our definition of inclusive business. Uh, what has CCD done? CCD has done many things, of which we'll pick up two businesses, which uh, one of them has served its purpose. Let's say it's uh, on its way out. Uh, a second enterprise is at its peak and it's growing further and our vision for the third one, let's say, uh, just to give a part, right? And about the promoter and how can you be part of the vision? Well, this is, uh, source is nothing but Wikipedia. It's simplest definition you can get. It's nothing but sustainable business that benefits low, com low income communities. Uh, two parts here, sustainable business, which means it can run on its own forever and it benefits low-income community or the marginal community, whichever way you want to put it. Sorry. Other way to see this, non-profit. Uh, it is for-profit, not exactly a non-profit. Uh, poverty reduction works towards improving income. Inclusion of low-income communities. So again, just mark the keywords. We'll come back to it as we conclude. Uh, these are the, okay. What CCD does is CCD works with uh, traditional skills and the local resources to make enterprises to benefit the community, local communities. So that's the whole uh, model of CCD. CCD is an NGO. However, these are the enterprises they've established. We won't go through each of this. Uh, we will see the medicinal plants on the mango one and uh, what we're trying to do in uh, overall putting together, uh, combining all this, trying to do something new, which we'll discuss the last. Okay, so here is, uh, uh, first case. First case is where uh, Kalasam sacred food. Uh, this is a situation in uh, Madurai, near Madurai, place called Natham, where there's a mango variety called Totapuri. So all of you do have uh, uh, mango juice or whatever pulp. Now what you have there is claimed as Alfonso is not really an Alfonso. The fillers there, which is 75, 80 percent of it is a mango variety called Totapuri. It's fibrous, pulpy, uh, doesn't really add to flavor. Now, this was grown around Madurai, but not so much that uh, a mango buyer will come there to buy. This is what is pulped and put into your flavors or uh, fruit juices. Now, what these guys did, the farmers used to take it to a place called Chittur, which you know, it's southern Andhra. And uh, by the time they take it there, it's uh, you go to a buyer's market and not a seller's market, and you don't get the right price. Two, first, they don't get the right price. Two, the money doesn't reach the family on the way it's all spent. So what Muttu and company, part of CCD did, was this. So this is the problem we addressed. Mangoes taken to the bias market resulting in lower pr price for the produce. First they did this, they acted as an aggregator. So they did, okay, let's, for any, any businessman first does this, let me act as a, a cut one layer of the chain. So they, what they did, they started aggregating mangoes. So 3,000 tons was aggregated per year and supplied to Parley. The parley guys said, why do you want to give it as mango? Why don't you to go one step ahead and forward integration and set up a pulping unit? So very rudimentary pulping unit was set up. So 3,000 uh, tons of mango is 1,500 tons of pulp. Right? So this was set up by him uh, in the locality there. And mango farmers were promised at least 50 pairs uh, per kg more than what uh, Mandi would offer them. Instead of taking it to Chittor or giving it to Mandi in local Mandis, you give it to us. Started as that kind of aggregation and then a pulp, pulping unit, which is called something called a producer company. So the shareholding pattern of this company is as per the producer's yield and which was given, produce given to the company. Right? So they were given some money immediately for the mango and balance was given to them as a stock of pulp in their name and that was transferred, as and when it was sold, the money was transferred to them. Now, you won't believe how a business took turn there. This is a very small unit, uh, only uh, 
criteria motto and a CCD put there was no pesticides to be used and we will not use chemicals for ripening of mangoes. It was natural uh, ripening and hence the loss were high. And uh, uh, going forward, they had forward contracts with the company. So working capital was never a problem when, during its peak phase. Seeing them, the politicians and the rich people around put five units and the mega scale units, which is completely automated uh, using chemicals to ripen to an extent that not only the mangoes produced there gets, uh, uh, goes to these units, but also from Kerala and the whole south, the southern Tamil Nadu comes here. Now, this is what I call it as, uh, it's met its purpose. People get the best price for their produce. Uh, uh, well, uh, and this unit actually happened to be very, uh, let's say, loss making. And uh, uh, farmers are happy with the current price. And for practic all practical reasons, the unit doesn't exist anymore. We do something else in the same unit, but that business is over. Impact, we had 24 villages, 640 farmers benefited. Five more units have come. The best price in the local market itself. So they didn't have to take it elsewhere. Money reaches the family right there. So this is a case where it's done its job uh, as a social enterprise. Next case is uh, Gram Olige Company Limited. This is a classic case of medicinal plants where, uh, you know, the uh, medicinal plants are traditionally gathered by uh, tribal communities in and around uh, the forests or the uh, mountains. However, they are bought by the traders, the nearby town or the city. Uh, traders demand, I mean, they basically play the whole game of exploiting them. So again, the first step, they aggregated. So they acted as an aggregator. CCD acted as an aggregator for 18 species of 30 tons. That's a trial run which they did, supplied to companies, uh, uh, the, let's say cosmetic companies as well as medicinal companies. Then they said they formed a producer company, right, which included 30 self, uh, 30 women self-help groups and 12 farmer groups. These 30 uh, women self-help groups together, I can think of starting point account for 600, 700 people, right. Uh, this company was owned by these self-help groups. The certificate, share certificate was given to the self-help groups. It, each group is less than 20 people, so RBA apparently allowed at that point to that uh, maximum of 20 people. Now, what do they do now? They forward integrated, they started doing semi-processing, third party manufacturing, own medicines. They also had, uh, they still have a honey processing unit, so they have their own brand. Backward integration because uh, beyond certain scale, you can't depend on nature for uh, these medicinal plants, so they started cultivating. So the first time ever, these plants were cultivated. These are typically uh, like weeds that grows in forest. We also went back one step saying, okay, let's start cultivating and have a certain yield so that you promise the customers because these are customers, not small names. Uh, Dabar, Himalaya, KS, KS is your, uh, they make condiments for kitchen, Mekomik, AVT, also exports, right? Mekomik for export. And uh, they're the only self-certified vendor of Himalayas. And uh, for most of the others also there, but there are others. For Himalayas, they are the only self certified vendors, which means uh, a tribal lady who collects it there, she knows to exactly categorize it, tag it as so-and-so. Uh, so, -so. so Mahesh collected this, and that can be tracked all the way till the plant when it's processed. And when a truck from GMCL comes, it's not even checked for quality. Random check also is not done. It's just taken into the inward. Right? Benefits, five states, 14 districts, 5,000 gatherers. The five states are Orissa, Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, and uh, Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu, five, seven districts and balance from these five states. These are the customers. This is a classic case where uh, you don't need to do charity. You don't need to uh, uh, really donate money or ask for any CSR. This is pure business. The lessons we learned, no free lunch. So you don't have to really give anything to them. Just find out what they are good at. When we say they, it's the community which you plan to help, make a business out of it for them, right? And they have to, sorry, fast. And when to your customers, we mean business and no charity here, right? So there were some customers who kind of said, uh, can we show it as our CSR? This is recent happening, right? So we really said, no, you're not giving any CSR money, all that and you're actually squeezing us in uh, margins. So we're not talking any CSR. If we mean business, you want to do business, you do business. And the customer walked away. We were happy to do that. Own a brand. This is something we learned the hard way because if you notice the models here, all the models are uh, except one small piece. We were B2B customers. 
So, we were giving it to the companies uh, and the end customer did not really know it is GMCL or uh, uh, Colossum or whoever is doing it. So, it is a customer who actually commands the price and beyond the point it is very difficult to scale it up. Right? And the only way to sustain is you own the customer. So, cust end customer or a consumer knows that you are behind it or so and so brand is behind it and they ask for it. And hence, we, this, we did learn this that you need a larger ecosystem which includes loyal customers, finance system, management support, political support. The moment you start growing, because we work in agri field, the moment you have beyond the size of land holding there, even if it is community of farmers, uh, you will get lot, all, of, all kinds of disturbance. So, you need to have even that support, policy support, right? That also comes from political support. Who is supposed to be standing here? I am in his place now, is my. Uh, Partner, when I say partner, uh, we are more as a, a partner in vision. So we have certain vision we'll share after this. So he's behind. So he's uh, been uh, in social sector for 25 years now. Uh, uh, trained professionally trained social worker. He's known in this whole field. I know him for the last two years. When I got to know him through my company, right? So these are three of his major initiatives. Is Muthu. Muthu could not be here for some personal reasons. So what we, based on the learning we had. We thought let us bring all agri initiatives together in something called an agri ecological agriculture, right? Through rural production, create a market, a whole ecosystem for consumption, so as well as production in something called a collective farming. So, collective farming is a place where people can come together and farm in either their own land or the land which let us say people like us sit here, but our land lies in a rural place. So, we can let the land to, uh, we can partner with them saying that you use my land, give me either in terms of uh, uh, a profit share or the lease, lease, whichever way, right. And leveraging technology here, so bring back our old way of agriculture, but with a modern technology, right. And it is all pure organic farming and not uh, any chemical or pesticide. And more so for uh, agroclimatic conditions. So, you cannot really grow cauliflower in Madurai, it does not grow. You try to do it, you will have to put a lot of pesticides on it and it is obviously not good for the soil nor the customer. How can you be part of this? The right and rice and wheat, if you know, are not part of our uh, regular diet. It came in the last 30 years, 30 or 35 years, right? And that actually has a lot of uh, impact on the society and the uh, environment. To grow rice and wheat of modern variety, you need to use a lot of pesticides and chemicals, right? Move away from rice and wheat. Start moving away. Try millet. It's healthy as well as uh, good for the environment. Organi organic produce vegetable, fruits, milk. It does not have to be produced by us. If any organic farmer gets benefited by this. Ayurvedic medicines, right? And uh, try farming. It is so basic that we are taught to pay tax, how to do statistics, integral calculus, what not, but not how to farm. Right? And that produces our basic food. And that is really sad. And you will not believe the western world has started looking into this. The basic primary education includes how to grow a plant. You ask a, a, a kid matriculate here, even a state topper, he may not know how to grow a plant. What are the basic things to be done? So, you can try, and it is fun, trust me, I have been trying to, I have been trying for the last two years where my forefathers used to, my grandfather used to be a farmer, it just moved away. But uh, I have been trying this wonderful field. You see something growing and get the fruit out of it and eat, it is real fun. Right? So, you do not have to be associated with this directly only, you can do all this to encourage other farmers and the whole ecosystem. Thank you. That is the context. So, anytime, by profession, I am a management consultant, but uh, by passion, I have been with Muthu for the last two years. So, reach out to us, that is Muthu's and my email address, wherever we can help you. Be it uh, you want to be associated with our dream, or you want us to help you in somewhere, or just to want to have a chat on some idea, please feel free. We will help you in whichever way we can. Thanks. Thank you very much, Mahesh. Uh